This is Delft, a typical Dutch city situated near Rotterdam, famous for its Delft Blue Pottery, Johannes Vermeer, and the University. Delft University of Technology is home to 19,000 students from eight major faculties, from which one is the amazing faculty of architecture. The Dream Hall is a specially reserved inspirational working space for student competition teams like the Nuna Solar Car and yours truly, the Prêt à Loger team. The team showcases a diverse range of disciplines within the faculties of the TU, including civil engineering, electrical engineering, informatics, and sustainable energy technology. This is reflected in the way the team is organized. Students from different faculties working together is, of course, very important. We need all the energy from all disciplines, all the inspiring energy ideas that we can have. And they will have to learn to collaborate, which is actually also what happens in practice. This is a very hands-on project where they can actually learn how the whole process works from thinking about a concept uh, down to the very uh, construction on site. It's a very large, skilled project with a lot of topics for students uh, who want to yeah, let's say, renew the world. For the university participating in it and uh, uh, even better, uh, winning it uh, will be very important. The team's concept is based on the idea of taking an existing house and transforming it into a sustainable home with the use of innovative design interventions and technologies. One of the important things that needs to be done is to transform the existing building stock. The existing building stock can be uh, fitted to our lifestyle, but I think our lifestyle is, is not fitted to our planet. One needs to be adapted to the other, kind of for it to really work, so it's a, a social intervention as well as an architectural one. Affordability and communication are key issues because we want to create a design that relates to people and a design that allows people to relate to their environment. It's also going about how we can make a whole system which works better. The main challenges are really trying to convince the homeowner that this is a sustainable option right now. That people feel like they can they can be a part of the solution. We plan on having a catalogue that is able to be implemented into as many of the existing buildings out there as possible. So my first challenge together with the students is to uh, make it happen and then of course uh, we want to win. 